Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to click that like down below and smash that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on the notification bell, then you will always get updated of all my daily content when it comes out. If you do buy anything in the item store, then please consider using code RIVERFOX as it will help me out a great deal. But with... um chapter two of fortnite um well underway um i thought it was high time i come back and did an updated uh survivors um setup video um i've had quite a few people in the comments uh, recently uh, and over time really um who is still um not fully understanding how the survivors work uh, so I thought I would come back in now today, we do a, a, a new video for you, an updated video on survivors and the best way to set them out for your highest um, power level that you can get. Um, now for this video, uh, just so that you um, are aware, um, I am going to remove the webcam from the, um, the actual setup just so that it's not getting in the way of anything that I'm showing on the screen. So I will see you very shortly. Okay then, so your survivors then, if you go in to the survivors tab and you will see squads, if you go down onto the squads, then you will have here eight different uh, survivor squads. Now each of these squads will all have their own uh, bonuses that it will provide you. Um, now you will see on mine that not all of my survivors are correct yet. Um, I am still slowly working on it. Um, this is going to be a long and tiring process. It's not going to be something that will be done overnight. Um, I've been working on mine now for quite some time and every time I, I try and get you know um, an upgrade in survivors then I normally end up using my evolution materials for weapon reviews or something else instead so it's going to take me quite some time but there are three things that you need to think about um, with your survivor squads um, and those three things are um, is your rarity then the personality and then the slot bonus and you need to think of it in that order um, always try and slot in the highest rarity that you can once you've got those in then you can work on the actual personality for each slot and then once they're done then you can work on the actual slot bonuses so for the emmet squad um, the fortitude um, fortitude increases health and health regen rate by 1% per point. Now, if, um, if for instance, now this lead survivor is a mythic survivor, um, which I think pretty much all of my leads are mythic um, at the moment. They may not be the correct ones, but I have at least got all mythic survivors in there. Um, but this uh, lead survivor, May Trekkie Jensen, um, she is a pragmatic personality and the leader match is a doctor, which is perfect for this slot. You will notice um, by the right hand side of the leader match, it does have a yellow tick. So that shows that it is the correct slot for it. Now this one, uh, Kelly Flack Solak, um, that is a leader match gadgeteer and that has the red cross uh, circle on it to say that it is the wrong um, the wrong match so it won't give you the correct bonuses um, and you'll notice if I uh, if I go between the two um, on the top left corner the health and shield when I've got the correct match uh, slot in there the health and shield will be a lot higher but when I go and put in the wrong one in there then of course the health and the shield will go down dramatically. So always try and make sure that you get in the highest rarity um, for your leaders and try then and match the actual um, leader match to get the, uh, the yellow tick. Okay, so that's your leaders. They, they are pretty uh, straightforward. Now it's the squad members then 
that will cause you the problems. Now, um, I have managed to at least get in all of my squad members in as a legendary survivors, um, but only these first two are actually giving me the correct um, slot bonus. So I've, I've done my uh, lead survivor, I've done my rarity, um, and now I'm working on the actual personalities. So you will um, you will notice that um, all of these, apart from the first two, have all got the wrong personality. They do not match the personality of the leader, which is pragmatic. Um, only these first two actually match the personality. And that is literally because I haven't had the correct survivors to slot in there. So when I get um, a survivor that does match the personality, then I'll slot that in, I'll replace the one that's there, and I'll upgrade that one then to, uh, to full uh, and get that working properly. So with these first two, now I know these are pragmatic and they do have the health bonus that is required for the uh, set bonus. So I have leveled these all the way up to their maximum uh, level. Um, it doesn't allow me to go any higher than 130 for these survivors. So I've leveled them all up because I know that they are correct. Now these other survivors, these other five, um, because they have the wrong personality and some of them, um, some of them do have um, the correct um, set bonus, but because their personalities are wrong, um, I haven't leveled them all the way. I've only leveled them up um, as I was going through the game. So these will all get changed later on so that they do have a health or health regen um, bonus and a personality of pragmatic. Now on the second tab here, the fire team alpha. Now this increases ranged and melee weapon damage rate by 1% per point. So again with the lead survivor I have set this. Uh, it is a personality dependable but the leader match is a marksman and it's got the yellow tick so it shows me it's the correct um, leader for this squad. So with the actual squad members, um, now I've got, let's see, one, two, I, again, I've only got um, two that are fully set with the correct uh, perks to them. Um, all the other ones um, don't have the correct uh, set bonus. Because these first two, they have got the melee damage, um, which is one of the squad bonuses for this fire out. Uh, fire team alpha whereas the other five then they are dependable so their personalities are right but they haven't got the ranged or melee weapon bonus so that again is why i haven't leveled those ones up now the gadgeteers tab um this tab increases shield and shield regen rate by one percent per point now this tab actually is one of the best tabs um, that I've got. I have got one here which I still haven't unlocked because I haven't finished off um, some of my um, SSDs and things like that, um, which once I've done those, then I will un unlock that last uh, tab there. But this, um, this tab has got literally everything exactly as it should be set out. We have got the leader uh, mythical gadgeteer, which all slots in perfectly and then the squad members then they are all analytical survivors so they will all match the personality of the lead um, and they have all got either shield or shield regen rate as their bonus so these ones are all perfect and nothing to change from them at all so that is one of my best uh, tabs now, if we go on to the Corpse of Engineering tab, um, now this one probably is the worst because literally I have nothing matching whatsoever apart from my leader. That is the only one that does match. Um, now, you will notice as well that there is a Mythic Survivor in here. There are two Mythic Survivors that you can get from um, side quests. Now, if you haven't... Um, 
got those and you you're not sure how to get those I will at the end of this video I will link in um, two videos um, which will show you how to get the two um, mythic survivors that you can get because there are only two um, the only downside to these uh, mythic survivors is their actual set bonus and their personalities never match the actual slots that you need to put them in so these um, mythic survivors are never well I say never very rarely will they ever match the actual slot you need to put them into um, so it's just one of those one of those things unfortunately but um, if you are lucky enough to get one that's got the right personality and the right set bonus then awesome job um, I unfortunately didn't but yes this is my worst hab because literally none of these actually do um, fit where they belong either their personalities are wrong or their set bonuses are wrong now on the training team alpha again um, I have got everything is pretty much just stuck in there just to increase my power level um, the only thing that is matching um, is these last two survivors have got the correct personality but they haven't got the actual set bonus again so that's why they've not been leveled up now the close assault squad this is another um, really good tab for me pretty much everything is as it should be I still haven't unlocked that last um, box there but um, all the survivors are the right personality and they have got either ranged or melee weapon damage as their bonus um, now the only reason I haven't leveled this one up yet is because I've got um, two melee ones here um, and I'm waiting really to see if I can get another melee one to go in there instead of the range bonus um, because otherwise I'm going to end up with um, two odd ones at the end when that's unlocked so that's the only reason I haven't leveled that up now the scouting party uh, which is shield and shield regenerate um, this one again I have got the mythic survivor Joel the um, second mythic survivor which on this one a uh, personality matches but of course the set bonus of melee damage doesn't match so um, that's another downside to him but I have got these ones set in here anyway now on the last tab then the think tank um, another not too great tab um, nothing really um, is matching up properly I have got the personalities to match but of course the set bonuses none of these really are fitting um, to where they would be so as you can see then from all my survivors um, I do have majority of them um, where they need to be I've got um, pretty much I think all of my lead survivors um, are correct I'm, I'm holding out for one other lead survivor so I can change that personality to uh, to match all my other um, survivors um, but apart from that um, it's really just making sure that you get in the highest rarity you can and then work on the personalities make sure that they match your lead survivors and then when you've done that make sure that you try and match any slot bonuses to the actual bonus of the tab that it's going into um, so it, it is it is when you get into it it is pretty straightforward um, it just I think is is a bit of head work to, to actually understand it initially um, and I was I was exactly the same when I first got in um, you know working on your survivors um, I I didn't know where to start you know um, and yeah it took a lot of time and effort trying to work things out the one thing that I would recommend is when you do have survivors any um, mythic or legendary survivors don't get rid of them until you know 100% that you are not going to need them um, I, I did make that mistake initially um, I had loads and loads of survivors it's like ah, oh, I'm not gonna need these I've got it all set up it's all fine so I recycled them retired them got rid of them and now I need them so 
don't get rid of any legendary or mythic survivors if if you need to get rid of any other survivors get rid of your epics um, or your rares or your uncommons get rid of all of those retire those get your xp for them and you can use them to upgrade the survivors that you do have okay well i hope that did help you out um i hope now that you will have a little bit more of an understanding of the survivors the survivor squads and how they work um if as always if you do have any questions just pop them in the comments down below i do read every comment that i receive and i do try to reply to as many as i can um but if you did enjoy the content don't forget to drop that like down below if you haven't already subscribed then smash that subscribe button and uh, turn on that notification bell and you will always get updated of all of my content when it comes out but until the next time i hope you have a lovely day and stay safe, my friends.